740 now on a Monday morning, and this morning on Rocks and Reports, we're kicking off a special series called Save My Life. And today, it's the one mistake most parents make in the winter and the one thing you can do to save your child. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rossen's got an important story this morning. Hey, Jeff, good morning. It's so important for all of us. Savannah, guys, good morning to you. I have small kids, and it turns out I make this mistake every winter. I had no idea, so I'm in the boat with you. We're talking about putting your kids in car seats while wearing their winter jackets. You think you're strapping them in, keeping them safe, but you're really setting them up for possible danger. This morning, the new crash test video that'll help us all save a life today. This child dummy just went flying out of her car seat. And watch this one, the little body violently tossed forward. She was strapped in, all looked good. So what went wrong? Here with Sue Oriyama from Kids and Cars, and this is my three-year-old son, Blake, and you say I've been making a mistake a lot of parents make and how I put Blake in the car seat. I think you are, show me what you do. Snap, snap, and this feels snug to me. It looks like it's tight, but it's actually loose. Let's take him out and take the jacket off. So I do it, yes. take Blake out, take remove that, that puffy we'll coat, there. then on, put him in. back in. Snap. Wow. And look how loose the straps are now. This is unreal. Isn't it? It's actually dangerous. To show you what can happen, we're at this official crash test lab here in Michigan. Climb up here for a moment. We have, as you can see, this child dummy in a winter jacket strapped into a car seat. And to me, these straps feel pretty tight. We're going to simulate a crash down this track at about 30 miles per hour. And let's get it going. Three, two, tuck right over here, one. The child dummy whipping forward, and just watch when we run the test again. She goes flying out, even her jacket sliding right off. Look at this, I mean, it's so scary to see up close. Miriam Maneri runs the lab. So what should you do? We want to see a nice, tight fit of the harness to the child's body. You should not be able to pinch any webbing up at the shoulder, and this harness clip should be at armpit level. Armpit level, that's mm -hmm. an interesting tip. Yeah. And no puffy winter jacket in the car seat. That's right. And it makes all the difference. This time, the child dummy is properly restrained. No winter coat. Straps snug against its body. Look at that. The dummy stays right in the seat. Come on this way. It works. I mean, that's the proof right there. And if you're worried about your child being cold in the car, here's the best advice. So instead of putting the coat on him, now you can put the coat over him to yeah. keep him warm. Okay. Or you can use a blanket like this. All right, does this work, buddy? Yeah. Thank you. A simple move to save your child from this. Thank you to my son who had no idea what he was a part of in that car. No question, by the way, using a car seat is the best way to keep your kids safe. Just remember, strap them in without the winter coat on. And by the way, this is interesting, the same advice goes for adults too. Don't sit behind the wheel. Really? Don't strap yourself in with the winter coat because the seat belt will not fit against you. It's the same exact thing. Wow. That's alarming. Yeah. 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 Never would have thought of that. Yeah, yeah. Opening. What are you doing tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow we have another very interesting story. We are talking about what to do if you fall through ice. All part of our Save My Life series. As you can see, I'm going in uh, because this happens every single winter. It's already happened this year, in fact. Lakes and ponds across the country look frozen over, but without warning, the ice breaks right under you. As you can see, we are going in to show you how to get out alive. And by the way, I'm a good swimmer. It is harder than you think to get out, but we're going to show you the safety tips to get out if it happens to you or your friend. Right, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Thanks.